Hebrew chapter 11, King James Version. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of the Almighty to us, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto the Almighty to a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, the Almighty to a testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because the Almighty to a had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he placed the Almighty to a, but without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Almighty to a must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being one of the Almighty to a of things not seen as yet, moved with fear prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundation, whose builder and maker is the Almighty to a true faith. Also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sp sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sun which is by the seashore innumerable. These all die in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things, declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, an heavenly. Wherefore the Almighty Torah is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that the Almighty Torah was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was 
a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment by faith moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the almighty toil than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season esteeming the reproach of christ greater riches than the treasures in egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward by faith he forsook egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he endured as seeing him who is invisible through faith he kept the passover and the sprinkling of blood lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them by faith they passed through the red sea as by dry land which the egyptians are saying to do were drowned by faith the walls of jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days by faith the allot rehab perish not with them that believe not when she had received the spies with peace and what shall i more say for the time will fail me to tell of gideon and of barak and of samson and of jephthah of david also and samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness obtained promises stopped the mouth of lions quenched the violence of fire escaped the age of this world out of weakness were made strong wax valiant in fight turned to fly the armies of the aliens women received their dead raised to life again and others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings yea moreover of bonds and imprisonment they were stoned they were sown asunder were tempted were slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskin and goat skins being destitute afflicted tormented of whom the world was not worthy they wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth and this all having obtained a good report through faith received not the promise the almighty having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect